question. It's the assumption that you're no, making. No, that's not the assumption. The assumption. What, what I'm asking is, is do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe that there are words in the Bible that are inherently true? Okay, okay which, which ones are false? false?
their twelve tribes in one race were all Israel. Now, we got Chinese people, Japanese people, we got the so-called white man, which is called Esau today. In the Bible, that is his name, he's Esau. Then you have your Ethiopians or your Africans and Hamites. And there's multiple tribes of those Cushites, and then those who already named all the six now. So this right here is one nation. It was 12 sons. And the slaves of the earth today all derived from them 12. That's which is the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American. We are the nation of Israel. All together we are one nation. That's right. So is Jesus only here to die for Israel? For the one nation. Whether we read him, whether he died for him. So how is it that other people can be saved? Are you sure? I am so yes. I'm we just need to be able to the sequel. So how can they be saved if they believe that white man there's no one that's here gave us a perfect No 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 the, the white man didn't give us this interpretation. The white man says everyone can be saved. Who owns right. that Bible? We own our people wrote the Bible. Whose name is on that Bible? Jeremiah, Isaac, Moses. On the outside of it, on the so you're talking about, about whether or not, or not if it says King James Version? Not if it says it, the context. Oh, okay, yeah. so now, so, so I got a question. Do you believe in the Bible? Well, I'm asking a question. I know. Do you believe in the Bible? Because that would, that would make sense if you don't. <laughs> if you do believe in the Bible, then everything you're saying is null and void at that point. So you're asking me whether or not an opinion is fact. I'm asking you, do you believe in the Bible? That would, that, that would be my opinion, and it cannot be mistaken as fact. In a court of law, you would lose every time. Go to sure. Sure. So in order for you to believe you're going to be a doctor, what do you have to do? You have to visualize. You have to have faith. You, have, you have to study. Thank you. You, you have, have to study. Because sure. you ain't going to be no doctor just walking in the hospital and put on a white coat. And you ain't went to no school, no nothing. Now, now, I have a question. No, that's not the assumption. What I'm asking is, do you believe in the Bible? I believe that there are words in the Bible that are in error. Okay, which ones are false? Yeah, think about it. Give me one that's false. I believe it's incomplete. I believe there are other okay, stories what, in the Bible that give me, not, give me not, one that's false, the because to say that it's the incomplete. The book of Maccabees. Uh, the story okay, the, the book, book of Maccabees, we got it right here in the Bible, book, which is a part of the original King James Bible. As a matter of fact, you got it all together right there. This Bible right here will cost your behind during the two minutes just because it got this in the middle, because it was originally there, and people took it out. Uh -huh. so now, that's why I said that. does that mean, does that mean they changed the meaning? Does that mean they changed the meaning of the Bible? The interpretation, which is a matter of the perceptor. It's a matter of the individual. You can tell okay, it's just so like it's just like that new movie. So I got a question. I, 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 I got a question. question. No, no, but I'm in the middle of still talking. I'm right. enjoying so, it. So go right along with what you're saying. I'm so if we can all have multiple interpretations, right? Can people get to heaven in multiple different ways? Jesus says that there's one way. Okay. So then that would mean there's really only one interpretation that is correct. And that's right. as simple as what? must go to the Bible precept or on a precept. Line of line, give it a little and get a little. Why can't people do that whenever they talk about the world? Because if they say God loved the world, then they would have to show a whole bunch of scriptures that God loved everybody. So why they can't do it? Why would scripture be in there if it's not true? No, but what does the word world mean? Because we just read who the world is to God. Then we read it in the whole other part in the Bible and the New Testament, the same world again. I mean, watch. Go to Christ, what Christ said. John 17, 9. Watch what Christ said about the world. Not he was sent for the nation of Israel, which was called the world. That's why I said, therefore, he loved the world. That no one reads in the Old Testament that we were called the nation of Israel is called the world. They skip that and say that means everybody, but one of the meanings of the real world is a common people moving to the common goal. So you have to be the same race going the same place. If you can't do that, you're not the world. That's one of the meanings. So what is your purpose? Watch. This is our purpose. Read this. 
to book a charge on the 17th of nine. Bring it out. I pray for doom. I pray not for the world. What does the price mean by that? That's what you read. That's proud. You got it for that. He did. He prayed for doom, which is who? No, me. I pray for doom. I pray not for the world. I pray not for the world, but he prayed for me. Who did he pray for? The same world that God called the world, which is Israel. So he was praying for Israel, not the world. That's it. That's because we are the world. Because we are the world. I mean, that world there is the one that needs to hold everybody. You know why? Why is that? Why is that? The, why are the two words the same but different? Watch the third right there. One chapter, the old John 18, 20. That's this. So same Christ that said, I pray not for the world, I pray for them. So I don't pray for the world. Now let's see who he now calls the world in this verse. Because there's multiple means to the real world. Watch this. Let's see who he was teaching. Read. I'm about to book a charge on the 18, verse 20. Bring it out. Into him. I spake openly to the world. He spake openly to the world. People stop right there and think that's everybody. Watch this. Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. And in the temple, whether the Jews always resort. Where, where do you always teach? And who was in those temples? So who did he call the world that he speak open to, that he taught every day? <laughs> See what I'm saying? It's not outside. But he said he taught the world. But he called that world the Jews. Right. But the Ash, question right. of is because he was confused that people think he's talking about everybody. Right. No. That's why he says we can't be friends of the world. Because he ain't going to save them. Right. Maybe me and Jesus have a diversion somewhere else. I, yes, yes, I do. I don't think there's a split opinion there. Yes, yes I do. I mean, we're well, on the battle of heaven and heaven. You lose. I, I know, but I don't have a, I have a cohesive and cogent argument. Watch. Watch, Watch this. this. How many gates is it to get into the kingdom of heaven? Okay. Yeah. yeah. How are you doing, Sis? Get one of these guys. Fly. Hold on. I got to go. I got to go. Yes, it is. He gave it to us in the Bible. He told us in the Bible. Yes, we're going to show you in the Bible. Very, very strong. That doesn't make it right. That is, so if God has said it, we're not supposed to believe it? Is that what you're saying? I think there's allegory. I think there's metaphor. Okay. So it's a, it's a metaphor. Okay. So how many days have you been to the kingdom of heaven that you know of? I do, but I want to know where you are and kind of meet you where you are. Where up, Gary? Thank you. Why is it 12 gates? Where up, Thank you. Where are all the races at? Is that the other races don't belong? They can't get in because they're not one of the tribes. I'm not sure that you and I agree on what heaven is in. What is heaven? What's going on, bro? I can't fly right here. That's the whole prayer. I agree with you on that. I do agree. That's what the Lord's prayer is about. That's why I said, oh, I go. That kingdom come. Yeah, that will be done in earth. Thank you. So does that mean in order for God, in order for Christ's kingdom to come, will there be other nations ruling? There already are. No, no. When he comes, will they be ruling? So then that would mean somebody got to get destroyed. Who? Huh? Right. So now, who gets destroyed? Who's ruling right now? Everyone else got to go. They're going to be made slaves. Rulership on earth is us ruling. That is heaven. How in the world, you need to tell me the slave masters that of all the nations, Chinese people had it in slavery, Arabians, white people did too. You need to tell me it's heaven for them to rule with us? What about the way to pray? What about the way to... How do you pray? How do you pray? In private. And what? What else? What else? No, but that prayer, you need to tell me that prayer was just speaking to God saying nothing? No, 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 let's read the prayer. Matthew 6. Let's read it. 6 and 6. Let's read it. We'll read the prayer. 6 and I think it's 15. Is that what it is, Rose Garden? Yeah. Yeah, I want to jump up to 8. Nope. 9. Read verse 9. Watch this. The book of Matthew chapter 6 and verse 9. Bring it out. In this manner, therefore, pray ye. So Christ, well, Christ says it's written in red. I know you know the Bible. You just said it So you know who's talking. Christ said, when you say this is how you do it, follow what I'm about to say. Read. Our brothers which are in heaven, hallowed by the name, thy kingdom. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. 
that will be done. Thy will be done. So whatever God says is going to happen in earth, up in heaven, is also going to happen in earth as it is in heaven. So not only is it going to happen in earth, who's going to happen in heaven right now? Who's going to in heaven? In heaven. So who's going to be ruling earth because this is the will to rule here too? Go ahead. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. So should we pray for forgiveness? Huh? Again, what the end is giving us an example. Go ahead. And lead us not into temptation. Don't we want to be shielded from temptation or we don't fall and miss out on the kingdom of heaven? Right. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Who's pushing evil on the earth right now today, mother? Huh? The generation. Where do we learn it from? From the home. And what's in the home that's pushing? The parents. The parents. And who are they learning it from? The TV. And they say, man, so that's all right. Right. The internet. The internet. The internet. The internet. Oh, there's nowhere in the Bible you read that they read right. church on Sunday. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. They get very good at that. Right. Right. But look at what they do. Right. Yes, ma'am. Right. 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 But we, but we, we, we yeah, got to understand right. the simple stuff, right. stuff right. right? You didn't even know who the world was until today. You didn't know who God was talking about when he said the world until today. Yes, ma'am. Well, now you know for sure that now you can get it back. That's fine, but that just means you didn't know. Now you do. Like you said, you had an idea. Now you know an idea, my boy. It's for the facts. All the nations of Israel united against the common God. All praises. Here we are. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30. Verse 1. Here is my power. At the top of it? Okay. Right here. Is that what all women said? Uh, yes. Here we are. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. Bring it out. It shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee. The blessing and the curse. So it said all these things will come up on us. The blessing and the curse. Didn't Israel rule the earth, earth at one point? Under King David and King Solomon. Now we're under the curse. So all these things will come Start up on us. Go ahead. Which I have set before thee. And that shall cause them to mind among all the nations. We would make it, bring it back to remembrance among all nations. That's exactly what we're doing with you right now. Bringing it back into remembrance. You are a Jew, bro. You'll be Israelite in the Bible. I know I'm an Israelite in the Bible. God gave me that. He did not give me African American. He didn't give me black. Right. It's not a race. Right. That is part of the Bible. Right. Because in order for me to say that I'm a child of God, I know who the heck I am. Right. No, no, no. The word black is just a color. In the crayon Bible, people say that as, like you said, a culture or a nationality when you can't find that as a race. Right. It's not a race at all. Right. That's just a color. Read on. What? When the Lord thy God has driven thee. Didn't he drive us all over the world? How do we get that? On slave ships, right? It's in Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 68. Right. That the Israelites would be scattered all over. That's why he said we would bring it to remembrance all over the world among the nations. So we would be slaves among all of them. Go ahead. Teach. Huh? The way we're doing now, because God said to do it like this. That's right. Hey, wait, wait. Yeah. How did you come in? How did I come you in? You saw people on the street teaching, right? On videos and all, right? Yes, sir. What about you? Same thing. What about you? Me too. What about you? Because we did it, this is actually how I said to do it. And you might eight. Watch. Watch. Listen, we're going to show you. Remember, remember with me too, I work in IT too, bro. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. And shall return unto the Lord thy God, and shall obey his voice. So what we're going to do, what we've been doing, we're going to return to God. Keep his commandment, that is how we obey his voice. Right. You know, according to all that I command thee this day. And that's exactly what we're doing for the same law we had then or the same one today, except the law of sacrifice. So that's what happened in, in Acts or in Matthew, Luke, 
Mark John, we pray that. One little loss second, but we still have to second. We still can't go around committing adultery. We still can't commit murder. We still can't uh, uh, have no other God above the most high. We still can't bow down to idols. We still can't do those. We still can't raise no one. That's murder in the back. That's right. Read on. Dad is our children. And no, me and who else? Dad is our children. My children. That is that moving forward. I got to teach this generation coming after me. Read on. Right. We all need to heart with everything. With all thy heart and with all thy soul, that did the Lord thy God return thy captivity. Then he'll do it when, I'm, when we all rise up and teach our people in the generation before us. And then at one third repent, he's going to do what? Turn what? Return thy captivity. Then we will get out of this slavery that we live in. Read on. Right. And have compassion upon thee. Uh -huh. And we'll return and gather thee from all the nations. He's going to gather us from where? From all the nations. we will send everywhere on slave ships. Go ahead. Whether the Lord thy God has scattered thee, uh -huh. and if any of them be driven out unto the outermost parts of heaven, from this will the Lord thy God gather thee. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.